President Biden once called it a third world country, LaGuardia Airport. It has been undergoing billions of dollars in much needed improvements to spruce up and rebuild. But outside doesn't seem to have fixed some of the parking problems people experienced over the holiday weekend. In fact, some travelers say it's gotten worse. Seven on your side investigative reporter Dan Krauth shows us why and how the airport is now responding. The air traffic at LaGuardia wasn't a problem over the holiday weekend. All of the backups happened in the parking lots. If you're one of the hundreds of people who drove into park, you found out the hard way. It was often a case of hurry up and wait. I'm really lucky I didn't miss my flight. When Jim McWilliam headed out this Friday for a quick overnight work trip, he snapped this picture of the gridlock trying to get into Terminal B's parking structure. What was I going to do? I just sat there. For 45 minutes. Yes, everybody was super nice, but just the situation of getting into the parking lot was ridiculous. When he finally got to the entrance ramp, he found out the lot was full, and he's not alone. The airport posted all weekend of the parking shortage. Same thing happened around the new year and also over the Thanksgiving weekend. Even though they're spending more than $8 billion on much needed improvements and built a new 3,000 space parking structure. Mick William, a frequent flyer, has never experienced waits like this. I just envision it's a nightmare in the future unless they do something about that. The airport has been encouraging people to use public transportation to get here or to reserve your parking space online first, which we tried to do today, but it says it's not taking any new reservations for at least another week. We wanted to know if it's due to an increase in travelers, fewer people taking mass transit, or fewer parking spots available after the reconstruction. Over the past 24 hours, the Port Authority hasn't answered our questions, including the main one. Are there more or fewer parking spaces now? I think it's kind of the finished product. There's no evidence that they're going to do anything to change this kind of access to the parking. While we wait for the answers, a Port Authority spokesperson sent a statement that says in part, they strongly encourage anyone visiting LGA to use public transportation, including the free Q70 bus during peak travel times. Parking at LaGuardia over the President's Day weekend was at or near capacity for much of the weekend due to higher holiday travel numbers. Even though air travel still hasn't reached pre-pandemic levels, we will keep you updated.